Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be a haul. We haven't done a haul in a while. I haven't been online shopping, but I have been, so now we're back. Um, this is like an autumn winter haul, probably the first. There might be a couple more. I love autumn winter. I feel like, especially in Ireland, you can kind of justify spending more on autumn winter clothes because you can kind of wear them all year round. We don't get like that while of a summer often i feel like i get more wear out of my autumn winter pieces than i do the summer bits that i wear speaking of which if you want to shop some of my summer bits they're on sale on depop let's just get into it enjoy probably start with what i have on me this jumper is like my new favorite thing ever it reminds me of like tequila sunrise or sex on the beach cocktail which to be honest i had far too many of them when i was on holidays and i don't think i'd be able to drink another sex on the beach for as long as i live because it's like an orangey color i feel like you can definitely wear it into autumn winter i love kind of orangey colors in autumn winter those kind of look like a sunset as well doesn't it so cute so cozy from pennies i got a size medium i think it was like 13 euro i'm not exactly sure but i think i don't think it was any more than 15 euro and i got this brown jumper from pennies this one has a high neck on it and it's the same kind of feel as this one a little bit softer maybe but definitely warm not itchy at all and i got this in a medium as well i like my jumpers to be a little bit oversized i really don't want them clinging to me it makes me feel awful when it clings to me so i like them nice and oversized brown always gonna be in for autumn winter for sure but i feel like it looks so chic with cream or even like imagine leather trousers oh stunning gorge we got another jumper i actually got the matching joggers to go with this but i'm returning them because i just don't like the way they look on me they're like too tight or something on my bum i really like the jumper so i'm keeping it it's a v-neck which i don't really have a lot of um but i just think it's something different sunday club it is cream so we're gonna get it destroyed in makeup but it is what it is i just love the green detailing i just the vibes with some gold jewelry i just really like it it brings it brings me happiness that's all i can say okay moving on to bershka for autumn winter i like to kind of stick with basics and then have a few kind of statementy pieces so basics neutral things i can wear with a lot of different things mix and matchy vibes does that make sense <laughs> i'm not sure but i basically got a white top and a black top and they're both long sleeve from bershka so this is the white one i like to think of these as like elevated basics because like this is just a white top it's a white top it's gonna go with everything but it's a little different because it has like a neck piece and it's you know it's not just plain so it's an elevated basic you can have your basic outfit but it's not going to be basic the right way to do basics i feel like anyway just depends but i really like this one got a medium and this was 17.99 and then i got a black one but it's a bit different this one is like a high neck like a turtleneck you can roll down um i'm a bit nervous i haven't tried this on yet but turtlenecks tend to strangle me because i've actually like i have a thick neck i have a lower back neck um and i hate 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 the feeling of being strangled by turtlenecks like sometimes i can only last an hour in them and i'm like i need this bitch off me i just love the way that they look and i feel like they look so chic for autumn winter so i really hope this one doesn't strangle me and i can last a day in it but the quality of this is really good it's really thick it's ribbed it's going to be warm even though it's cropped again i got on a medium and it was 17.99 i feel like you just need a black turtleneck in your wardrobe for autumn winter like obviously it's well, absolutely everything i think it's a necessity and then i seem to have a new obsession actually it's not a new obsession i just got more because i have been obsessed with them but oversized graphic tees I love because I feel like autumn winter style for me I like two kind of different separate styles for autumn winter I like really casual street style oversized t-shirts with baggy jeans and a puffer jacket or I like kind of chic smart coat elevated basics minimalistic neutral vibes this depends what mood I'm in but I had to stock up on some new oversized graphic tees because I have two or three that I wear to absolute death so anyway I got three of them in different colors black brown and white let's have a look I love the designs on all of these because you can graphic tees can either kind of look like band tees or it can go a different way so I went with the different route these are all like have energy stuff on them which we know that I love so this one has a little butterfly on it and it says energy flows 
and it has loads of different things on it like escape to create I just fucking love it. We all know by now I have a butterfly tattoo and I love butterflies and I'm really into energy and shit like that. So she had to. I got it in a medium and it was 15 99 I don't have a brown one, but I feel like I'm going to get loads of wear out of the brown one. So this is the brown one I picked up. It's like a chocolatey brown and it has some purple flowers on it and it says don't overthink it. Which I mean I 100% need to remember that every single day of my life because I do overthink everything. So hopefully, if it's on my t-shirt, I might fucking stop for once. <laughs> I got this one in a large. They must have been out of the medium and it was 15 99 again. I don't think there's much difference between the large and the medium. I think they're just a little longer. And then the last oversized graphic tee is a white one and it says, Break and restart. The real world is not perfect. And a perfect world is not real. Oh, we love that. We love Bershka coming through with these little quotes. The bottom says the past is our inspiration, the present is our reality. Also if you're a Scorpio, this has little scorpions on it, which I think is really cute. I just love it. I love the vibes. I just, the energy, it's immaculate. You can't tell me that's not cute. Gorge. Oh, I got this in a large as well, and it was 15 99 I feel like we're getting through this very quickly, guys. Well done me, pat the back. Okay, I'm obsessed with Pinterest, and I'm obsessed with Emma Chamberlain. And when I saw this picture of Emma Chamberlain on Pinterest, I immediately saved it to my Autumn Winter outfit inspiration board, which if you want to follow my Pinterest is down below. I'm on there probably more than Instagram because I love it and I don't feel toxic when I come off it like I do on Instagram. Anyway, there's a picture of her in a green skirt. So I went and bought a green skirt. I saw this one on Urban Outfitters. It's like a micro mini skirt. Now I'm a little nervous for this because it, it like, if you wear a high waisted, your arse is out. It has to go like a little lower. Like I can't wear it fully low waisted, um, but I'll be bringing it a bit lower rise than I normally do, just so me full on arse of the night. But um, I love the color of it. I think like with tights and boots, even with this, it could go with this jumper, it can go with black, it can go with brown, with white. Ah, uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna absolutely rinse this. Cause to be honest, it was like expensive, but I am going to rinse this, you're going to see this so much, uh, so I'm not even going to apologise for this. Lisa McGuire, you are an outfit repeater, and I don't care. I just love it so much. It's corduroy. How much was it? It was 50 euro. Which, I don't think I've ever paid 50 euro for a skirt, but I really like this one. And Emma Chamberlain had something similar, and if it makes me feel like I'm anywhere near her level, I think it's worth it. I think this is the last item. Sorry, I already showed you what they are. Dickies. I got Dickies. I'm a Dickies girl now. Um, <laughs> I actually don't think I have the balls to wear them out just yet, but I, I will work up to it. I'm not sure if this is like a god complex, but I feel like I could potentially be the only bitch in Mayo to wear Dickies and, and who's gonna like roll them down. Or I'll be the first bitch to do it. I'll be the first. There's probably someone that's done it already, but I haven't seen them. So to me, I'm the first bitch that's gonna do it to anybody else who does it after me in Mayo. You're following me, bitch. I'm the trendsetter here. And I definitely just copied all the other Pinterest girls. And what about it? What? Sue me. Don't sue me. I got original Dickies. They're, these are men's. Do I give a shit? No, I always wear men's clothes. They're actually better quality a lot of the time than women's clothes. Let's talk about that sexism. They're the original fit. I got 30 inch by 32. Um, because I wanted to wear them a bit lower and like roll them down. You know that the girls on Pinterest do? I'll put in a picture. And I did kind of try them on just to make sure that they fitted and they seem to have fit okay. But again, I'm gonna have to like talk myself up to actually wear these out, you know? Just a little bit. Like they're just work pants, do you know? They're just, um, but I'm gonna feel so smart in them. And do you know what it is? I don't need any more jeans, so I didn't buy any more jeans because I still have all my pairs of Zara jeans from last year. I have green ones, pink ones, I have purple ones from Stradivarius. I have black jeans, white jeans, multiple pairs of blue jeans and different washes. Um, so I feel like, don't let me buy another pair of jeans anytime soon. I don't need them. I really, I like, I don't. And jeans are great. I wear jeans nearly every day of my life. Like, they go with everything. But I don't find them that comfortable. Especially if I have to sit down in them. They hurt my female parts a lot of the time. They cut the fucking clit off me. Even though they're, like, baggy ones that I wear now, not skinny ones, they still friggin' hurt. And I feel like trousers don't really do that as harshly as jeans because they're kind of softer. So I don't know that this might help me with that issue sometimes. 
we're just switching it up a little. We're switching it up a little, okay? We're 24 now. We're trying new things. We're trying trousers. Hi guys, Molly from the future budding in because I realised I hold on. I, I want a Capri Sun so bad. I'm so hungry right now. <gasps> oh my god, it's peeing. Stop. much better my hair is also uneven but like just pretend it's fine um basically i had so much more to show you but it didn't like come on time but the bits that i was waiting on arrived so we have some mesh tops like this one a waistcoat the leather trousers from pretty little thing well they're not leather trousers they're actually called coated jeans but i'll get to them so this is like the second half of the haul it's only a few things you might as well start with this mesh top that I have on now as you can see I just do a few buttons and I leave most of it open because I think it looks cooler that way and I just wear it with like a lacy bralette. I've just had like sheer kind of shirts like this all over my Pinterest and I think they're coming from like the 90s Rachel Green friends you know that kind of vibe. I love it. They're long sleeved but also oh, they're still a little sexy and I just love how versatile they are like they they're great for layering. You can wear them with jeans or trousers and with a skirt in knee high boots. Like they're just so fab. So I have this black one. So that's the black one. And then I also got, it's essentially the same one in like this brown marbly color. And I just thought this was so fab because brown is such a staple of mine in like autumn winter. Again, goes with everything. It's a neutral and it's just the same same vibe black is like a basic that will go with so many things but then this is just like that extra little bit of spice so it's still gonna go with loads of things but it's more of like the statement of the outfit if that makes sense like it's not subtle obviously but it's still not very overbearing or anything i just love it i love it so much i think this would be unreal with cream leather trousers or like the brown coated flares that I have. That would be so cute. But again, black skirt and black boots. I wear, I wear that outfit to death. Like a black skirt and my knee high black boots. And I don't want to hear anything about it. Okay. That to me is like one of my statement outfits for my character. You know in TV shows characters kind of have like their staple outfit. That they wear all the time. Or just like different variations. Black skirt and knee high boots. For me is one of those outfits and I do generally think of myself as like a doll that I just dress up in different outfits every day because that is kind of my life that's kind of what I do and get paid to do I definitely think it's one of my staple outfits and it's not going anywhere anytime soon so I don't care if you're bored of it I'm gonna keep wearing it the waistcoat baby a bit different for me I always like to like try something new every season like you know push the boat out just a little bit just get out of the comfort zone just a tad we can run back into the circle if we don't want to but you know what i mean but um this for me is like that kind of item of the season that i'm like i haven't really tried before but i want to and it's gaining popularity at the moment i've seen them everywhere and i love how they look it gives me like so zendaya vibes i feel like zendaya always goes for like a power suit or like a smart more tailored outfit but she always looks fucking sexy and that is what like these waistcoats do for me and they have the little collar on them and when I wear it I do kind of feel like I'm you know a minimum wage waitress in the local hotel which I don't actually know how I didn't do that job because I think I did all the other minimum wage jobs fast food retail not waitressing though isn't that interesting so this is me living out my waitressing dream and I actually think waistcoats are so flattering on likers like myself with smaller assets itty bitty titty committee members and um, if you do have smaller boobs I feel like it's really flattering for me anyway it gives me a nice V and I get a little bit of cleavage going but it's not like you know well I don't have a lot for it to be like all out there but for me it's like just enough but even though it's like a masculine thing I feel feminine in it which I think is really fun in outfits to have like masculine and feminine intertwined always a fun thing to do and it has a collar so it's businessy again my version of professional <laughs> okay we have our last items they are both the same just in different colors i'm in such a weird mood these are the coated flares i got from pretty little thing i saw them on charlene murphy and i went and bought them like asov like literally straight from the app to pretty little thing and uh got them in a 10 in black and and in brown and I have already tried them on over on Instagram as well. And um, they just like I can't explain it. My arse 
they just really flatter my bum and I think they make me look taller because how they go in on your leg and then come out I just think it gives such a nice like hourglassy shape I'm just here for it I freaking love it they're very stretchy very comfortable good with bloat my stomach like my belly like ranges in size throughout the day a massive amount IBS bloating we love the gang they're great for that I can still sit down in them and they're comfy and they seem like good quality like they they have like that leather look but obviously they're not leather they're technically a denim coated flare I think is the name of it so I don't know what they're coated in is it PVC or something but it, they are soft like they're soft and they don't make a lot of noise when you walk I know like some of these leather trousers you really be taking everybody's attention when you walk by because they're so loud but these aren't the worst um, I am five foot three. They are on the ground when I walk, but they're not like overly long. Like I feel like I can still get away with them. And then when I wear them with my boots, like my platform boots, they look sickening. So I'm okay with it. I'm honestly okay with it. So short girls, don't be that afraid. They're fine. And if they are too bad, you can just like hem them. Do you know what I did with my other pair of um, leather trousers, my cream ones from last year? I cut them and then I hem them with like the the iron iron hem thing i actually don't know where you can get it my mom gave it to me the pharmacy potentially you, you just put a tea towel down so you don't like melt it and you just get your iron and you just like fold it over and then voila they're hemmed and you didn't need like, a needle and poking yourself or anything so if you have to that's an option i got these when they were on sale so i got them for like 24 50 each i think 25 each something like that and now they're back up to 40 euro so uh, my advice is keep an eye on them um, or Pretty Little Pink have discount codes going all the time so definitely um, try to get some money off them because I basically got like two pairs for the price of one which I think is amazing I do think that they're worth the price I feel like they're such a staple it's such a nice alternative to jeans they're great basics to have but again elevator basics as I like to say all the freaking time just takes your outfit to like the next level we love it i'm gonna be living in these like you're gonna be seeing these on my instagram every freaking week because i'm not obsessed okay i have one more thing to show you it's this puffer jacket and it's reversible and it's from boohoo i think i cut the label out oh no i didn't i still have to cut the label off boohoo yeah so it doesn't have pockets but like we'll get over that because you basically get two coats for one because it is reversible so you have the black side and the brown side and it has a hood puffer jackets need to have hoods it should be illegal if they don't have hoods i don't understand making a puffer jacket and then not giving it a hood especially if you live in ireland in the uk like come on it rains like nearly every day like you'd be so stupid so i do have lots of coats in my collection for autumn winter that i like the aviator style and they have like some faux fur and stuff like that and they're gorgeous but they don't have hoods you know, it's just a bit of a necessity and I didn't feel like popping 230 euro on a North Face. Okay, if you want to do that for me, you can. You can. Just slide in my DMs and I'll allow you to, babe. This is it for now. It's kind of like shorter at the front and then dips down at the back. So it's quite like flattering. Nothing wrong with getting your arse out. I get my arse out all the time. But I like to wear leggings and oversized hoodies a lot in winter. And then I kind of prefer when I have my jacket on. It's just a little over my bum. I don't feel so exposed, you know. So, we love that. Thank you so much for watching my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. All the links will be below with the sizes. Yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post loads of fashion content over there. And also, subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I upload every week. I aim for Sunday, but it's kind of like whenever I can get it up. But I do upload a video most weeks. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. Okay, honeys, bye!